Greetings Internet and welcome to Audio Cave. Um, I've got here a microscope I've bought on Amazon for 30, was it 30 odd quid, something like that. My friend recommended it to me, said um, it's really nice to see close-ups with your cartridges and styluses to see in what state they are. And since I'm testing a um, new stylus cleaner, ultrasonic stylus cleaner, I thought I'll give it a try. So basically, this is what it is in the box. It's not difficult to put it back, put it together, so I'm not going to show you how to put it uh, together. After you've done that, this is a basic function. So you can go up and down, you can lower that one up and down, and then just secure it. This is a bit flimsy when it comes to adjusting. You just need to hold it and then do the adjustments of the picture. You can take it out. This is where the micro SD cards goes in. To be honest with you, I had an issue. This is can't remember, SanDisk, is it? It is a SanDisk micro SD. I had some issues with the micro SDs in here. I could not get it to work properly with the micro SD. What it does, it takes the pictures or videos and can store them on the micro SD. I could not, for the love of me, make it work properly. It doesn't matter what I did, it just didn't. Not a problem, because here you've got the uh, charger, the, the way you can charge it, so you can plug it in via, where's the cable? USB Type-C, I believe it is. I've been using my mobile charger for it, or, again, USB to USB to UPC, or normal USB to UPC, and it can work as an um, external camera to take a pictures or record it. And here is the brightness of the screen. Here is the basic control, so let me just turn it on for you. So before you start using it, it is recommended to charge it for at least three hours. Mine took a bit longer, so it, there might be an issue with this, but as you can see, it's running well, and I've been using it ever since, haven't charged it ever since once for, from the moment I've charged it full. And it, come on, SD, and it says, as they've been removed. Regardless, like I said, it doesn't matter what I do, it just does not want to cooperate with the SD. But like I said, you can plug it in to your PC. I've been testing it on Windows, Linux, Mac. Works fine on, Lin on Linux and on Mac. On Windows, Windows 11 by the way, after connecting it, it does see there is external camera being connected and it's i can see the pictures but saving the pictures comes up with the error i believe it's something with the windows I'm not gonna go into the length why because i can't be asked to be fair i can connect it to the my, my mobile and there are plenty of apps i i'm using ms scopes app plenty of apps you can use on your camera on your mobile to take external pictures and it works absolutely brilliant. So if I need take a picture and I'm doing it quite often, I'm just using the cable to the um, over here to the phone, job done. It takes really good quality pictures as you can see in a sec. So that's not a problem. We've got um, here right now it's in the picture mode. Here it's in the camera mode, so it, it will take the videos or it will take the pictures, it up to you. Um, here we've got menu, if I can get there, come on menu, there we are. So basic resolution, you can set the resolution you want to. Um, then we've got language, basic language, you setting your time and date. Screen saver, obviously, if you're not using the screen for a while, it will just go blank, but then press OK again and it goes back. Frequency, obviously, format, default settings, 
version job done. That's pretty much what you've got. So that's the basics. That's the basics, as I said. You can dim the light. That is, that's, that's the basics. So let's see how good it is. I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna test this. All those are either broken, uh, missing the tip, or the one I'm not using anymore. So I'm gonna show you how good this microscope is. And then we're gonna go through those cartridges. That's the Nagoka MP. 100 or 110 mp10 so that's the mp100 oh come on microscope go away from a sec that's 2m bronze that's 2m red this is the audio technica vm95e black edition as you can see this is a uh, audio technica 120e really good cartridge if you can get it Go for it, you won't be disappointed. Really good cartridge. And stay. And this is the Audio Technica 90, VM95 ML microlinear. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Sadly, my Shibata at the moment is at my friend's her place, so he's testing it to see does he prefer the ML or Shibata. Spoiler alert, you have to flip the coin. You either take go for the ML or SH. The difference is left or right. There is no better or worse. You just have to choose one of them or both of them, like I did. So if you're ever thinking about ML or SH, go with both or just flip the coin. Both of them are brilliant. Like I said, the difference is between left and right. There is no better or worse. So anyway, let's go back to the microscope. I'm going to zoom in so you can see the picture better and let's go with audio technica 110 e which is missing a tip and let me show you what i mean oh again a bit flimsy as you can see the tip is gone it's not here anymore also nice idea you can zoom in the picture let's go as much as i can there should be hold on a second yeah like i said it's a bit flimsy there should be a tip but it's not here the tip is completely gone so what i need now is just to buy a new stylus for it Another one, uh, this is Gra Grado FT Plus. Now that came with the stylus, but the stylus was broken. So I took it off. Um, I believe it's up to Grado Prestige or even higher, the styluses can go. So you can buy, that was like five quid on eBay. Five quid body, 90 quid stylus, job done. And here you can see if I can only zoom properly, the connections inside. Oh, bear with me nearly. So this is the connections here, the black ones, what you can see, that was just gunk. That was just absolutely ugly, disgusting gunk and corroding. So it just took IPA alcohol to clean it. So now it's just waiting for the new cartridge, new stylus, sorry, job done. Another one is quite interesting, Audio Technica ATF5 OCC, which is, I believe it's MC cartridge, but there's a big massive fault to it. And let me just, it's bent. And the problem is it's bent because, come on, walk with me. It only got, coil on one side over here so only one coil the older one is gone and the needle is just going towards the one side so that needs retipping or just changing the coil i'm not sure i'm gonna do it 
I will say I've got a few other cartridges right now. So that one is not my top priority also. As you can see, it's very good uh, condition. It's just the sorting the coil out. Another one. That's an uh, Autophon FF10E. And I've got two of them. That one, as you can see, is... Now, it's not dirty. Okay, that, it's not dead. This is the state of the needle at this moment, as I will show you in a sec. This is not dirty. Really, believe me, this is really the state of the needle at this moment. To prove to it to you, so that's one, and that's the other. And I've got another one. As you can see, the screen server is on. So now we're gonna test the better one. And the better one, this is the better one. As you can see, it's in not bad condition, really. Now it's the Stanton F500, uh, I believe, or 505, with the generic stylus. And the stylus got a very lace, as you can tell. Sound-wise, you can tell something's not right here. And I've got a few other Stantons. You can tell that sound wise something's not perfect here. So yeah, this is the damage to be replaced to be given away cartridges. And now let's go with the better one. Now we have a Nagoka MP hundred. So let's check the stylus here. If I can get it properly. Come on, you little bugger. There we are. That's the 100 Nagoka MP100. As you can see, it's a slightly damaged, but that's just my sausage fingers and handling it. And now let's try Nagoka MP110. In my opinion, there isn't that much difference between 100 and 110. I've got both. And mm, you can't always say, ooh, that one's better than that, that one. Mm, not really. So, moving on. 2M bronze and 2M red. Let's start with 2M red so you can see the differences between 2M red and 2M bronze. For this one, I believe I'm going to have to get the focus better. Bear with me a sec, like I said, it is a bit flimsy, so you have to... So, that's 2M Red, okay? This is the 2M Red. And now, I'm going to take 2M Bronze. This is a 2M Bronze, as you can tell. Let's put it on. And you can see straight away the difference And that's why 2M Bronze sounds so good. So that's 2M Bronze. Let's move to Audio Technica. First of all, 95E Black Edition. It's just a color, black color. That's it, nothing else. So let's get the zoom properly. A bit more. 95E. Oh, I have really good memories with that cartridge. I like it. I've been listening to it. Oh, come on, you silly thing. I have been listening to it for years and I love it. I've only replaced the styluses, but it's really good cartridge. Everyone, in my opinion, everyone should start the journey with 95E. Okay. Now, let's move out to 120E. Different type of stylus. Oh, it's a dirty bugger. Oh, we've got a dirty bugger. Goodness gracious, what happened here? Just bear with me a sec. Wowzers. Let's see if that do anything better. That was a disgusting dirty bugger, wasn't it? As you can see, the needle is much better. And now, the start of the show Audio Technica 95 ML 
Come on, Zoom. There we are. And let's have a look at the stylus here. If I get that right, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Mm. You can even see the way it's being done. Let me see. Can I zoom in on camera? It's not going to be pre pretty, but if I can zoom it in, you can see it in better details. So that's 95 ml, as you can tell. It's absolutely stunningly looking and it's so close to the walls of the vinyls. So you can see the difference between 95E, even on 120E and ML. Oh goodness gracious. Well, there you have it. This is the 30 quid of on Amazon microscope. I'm quite sure that yours will have no issues with the micro SD card at all. Mine does, but again, like I said, I'm using, I'm connecting it to the mobile. Job done. Takes amazing pictures, no question whatsoever. Have a look for it. Buy it. You won't regret it. If like me, you've got a lot. That's what I've got here. It's um, fifth of my cartridges. I've got loads of them and I do test them by the by new used one to see if they're better or they was. I've got loads of them and that is really good tool so I can tell is it good is it okay do I need to replace it do I need to wash it do I need to clean it it's really good I definitely definitely recommend that for you well that's it hope you like it I'll see you next time bye